What if I told you that Fibonacci didn't actually invent the Fibonacci sequence? The story most people know begins in 1202. Leonardo of Pisa, better known as Fibonacci, published his famous book, Liber Abashi. In it, he posed a problem about rabbits multiplying month after month. The solution gave us the sequence we now call Fibonacci numbers. One, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, and so on. But here's the part many don't know. The sequence was already being studied in India hundreds of years before Fibonacci was born. In the Sanskrit poetic tradition, poets and mathematicians were fascinated by rhythm. They worked with patterns of long syllables, called guru, worth two beats, and short syllables called lagu, worth one beat. The big question was, how many ways can you combine these sounds to make a verse of a given length? It turns out that the number of possible patterns follows the Fibonacci sequence. For example, a verse of length four can be built by mixing patterns of two and three, which gives five possibilities. That's exactly how the sequence works. The earliest reference comes from Pingala, around 200 BC. He hinted at the rule with a short phrase that means, the two are mixed. Later Bharata Muni in the Natya Shastra also showed awareness of the sequence. By the seventh century, Virahanka explained it more clearly. His work preserved through quotations by Gopala around the year 1135, explicitly described the process of adding the last two numbers to get the next. And by the 12th century, Hemachandra wrote almost exactly what we teach today. The sum of the last and the one before the last gives the next. So how did Fibonacci learn about it? Most likely through the Arabs. Fibonacci grew up in North Africa, where he studied Arabic mathematics. Arab scholars had translated and absorbed many Indian works, including Indian arithmetic and prosody. It's very possible the sequence traveled from India to the Arab world, and from the Arabs to Fibonacci, who then popularized it in Europe. So when Fibonacci introduced the sequence to Europe, he was standing on a foundation built long before in the poetic and mathematical traditions of ancient India.